Hi everyone and welcome to the Merge Stack. In this video, we will learn how to destructure properties from areas and objects and also learn a little bit more about object properties in ES6, right? In object literals. Okay. So first, what do you understand by object destructuring or array destructuring? Destructuring in general means to break down the structure and get access to the individual properties or the values, right? Suppose we have a variable call, uh, called user, const user equals to, and it has name properties, say John, and then phone number, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then say we have email, john at gmail.com. Okay, so this is the user. Now, how do you normally pull out the variables name, phone, and store them, right? How do you do that? So if you do name uh, user.name, then you will have to assign user.name in many places, right? So that's why you would, of course, store it in name property, right? And then you can use in phone, equals to user.phone. In this way, you can store the values of the variables into uh, values of these properties into variables and then use them later in your code. So email equals to user.email. Now when you console log, you will see name, phone, and email, right? Please ignore this strike through line. This is due to my code editor. So now when I run node destructure dot destructure dot js, you can see the name and the phone number and also the email address. Now this one is more code and more typing effort is required, right? What if we had a simpler way? Now I'm going to show you the destructuring method of ES6. So first you will write the variable declaration keyword, which is const or let, and then you have to put the brace sign, okay? So this brace sign symbolizes that you are pulling out properties from an object, okay? You're pulling out properties from an object. So this brace is equal to user, now suppose I want to use the property phone number and I'll simply write here phone, okay? Now this is equivalent to this line here, cons phone equals to user dot phone. Now if I simply log out phone, we will have access to this phone number and it will display the phone number here. Now this is much simpler and much more helpful when you want to destructure multiple properties. Suppose I want also the email now. Then I can simply write email here inside these braces. Then the code interpreter will understand that you want to pull out the value, the property email, and store it in a variable called this name email. Okay. Now I can use here and type email and save it. And when you run the code, you will see this and the same for name. Name will also appear here. Now suppose you want to change the name of the variable, right? One thing you have to remember is that the variable name here must match with the object property. Suppose if I give some variable name difference as email d, then save it, then type here email d. It should be undefined. It is exactly undefined because email d property does not exist here. The property name must match. But what if you want to give some other vari variable name, right? Then you have to use colon then say I want to change the name to phone number for my convenience and instead of email I would like to do email ID now here if you try to run this phone and email then it won't be accessible we have already changed the names to phone number and email now this one will not be accessible if you try to run you'll get an error see this is the error so we have to use these new variable names which you changed it like that it is completely optional now it's working exactly it is com completely optional to put a, an extra name here you can directly specify this name and use it so this was all about object destructuring now we will look into array destructuring so first let me create an array called numbers equals with a string of numbers one two three four and till five now, in the same way, we can destructure the values of the array. But in array, you should remember, I mean, you would know that there are no properties like objects. Here in array, the order is what matters. One, two, three, in the order of appearance and the index, right? 
So if I want to extract the first three elements, we would do similar to object destructuring like const. Then here, suppose I say a, b, c. These three will be the variable names of the first value, second value, and the third value. And then you have to write the numbers, the array from which you want to destructure the values. Don't forget to put this, this square brackets, okay? So, so this will symbolize the array destructuring syntax. Now if I console log, a comma b comma c and you can now see it's one two and three suppose i want to get only first and the fourth value or first and the third value say then simply i will write a comma now i want to skip the second value so i will write no variable name i will write nothing and then i'll simply put another comma then i will write b you can write b or c or you can put any variable name now it will be a comma 3. Now if I display, it will write 1 and 3. It can also be C here. 1, 3. If I would like to extract this fifth one, then I have to script, skip 3 times, right? 1, 2, 3. So I have to put 3 commas, first comma, second comma, third comma. Now if you see, it's 1 and 5. In this way, we can skip the elements because in array, order is the thing which matters. And this is about array destructuring, okay? Now, the last thing I would like to show you is related to object properties in literals, okay? If I create a variable, say phone equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, I will create another object, say user equals to, just like the previous example, with a name John and then email okay John at gmail.com now if I would like to use this phone number value before year 6 we had to do like this phone colon phone and if you had logged the user you would have got the proper value of the user together with the variable like name email and phone right but this one uh, is redundant you are writing the same variable name with the uh, property name with the same variable name, right? You can simplify this simply by writing the name of the variable. When the name of the property is same with the name of the variable, then you can simply omit the colon and the value and JavaScript will understand that you want to use this variable as a property name. Now you can see phone colon this, right? This is much shorter and easier. Now another thing I have to show you is related to the method of an object literal. Before when you created a method, you would do like this, say get name colon, they have a function, then you would return the name. Okay. So if we would do get name, user.get name, then we would have we would see with a minute this name property there is some error return name name is not defined oh sorry here you have to use this okay when you are referencing properties inside an object then you have to use the this keyword now when I run this I can see John but now you can simply omit this function keyword and just write get name and this will be sufficient to define a method inside an object now when I run this will simply run if you have to add some other properties like address then you can simply specify it by putting a comma and then address will be whatever it is okay now when I run this user you will see the address and also the method will be defined of course you can see get name is a function right get name is a function there is name email then address so this was it about destructuring arrays and objects and also a little bit about object properties. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something from it. Please like, comment and subscribe to the Mernstag. And bye-bye.